So people were saying it's going to take Coach Prime two to three years before they get competitive. I didn't think it was going to take that long, but I definitely didn't think that they was going to come out swinging like this against the TCU Horned Frogs, who was just in the national championship game last year, and get this win. I thought they was going to put in a valiant effort, a good game, but to come out and get this win, man, Coach Prime, he said we winning now, and that's what he meant. And also he said that it's two, it's a couple players on the roster that is, should be up for Heisman contention. And, you know, that's Shador Sanders and Travis Hunter right now, without a doubt. We had some uh, guys that singled themselves out with their playing and their playing ability. A lot of guys you doubted. One of them from HBCU. I think he had uh, 510 yards passing in a Power 5 football game. And he happened to be my son. And I'm proud of him tremendously. Shador Sanders, 510 passing yards, four TDs, and no interceptions. Huh? Uh, defensively, we had some letdowns, but the guys came and made the plays when they needed. I think we broke a record. Everything we do seems like a record. Four receivers with 100 yards. Uh, we didn't run the ball greatly, but we, we threw the heck out of the football. Um, Savion, another back, played a, a great game. All the guys contributed, Dylan as well as uh, Hankerson. The line did their thing, fought their butts off. We got to fix some things on defense, especially special teams, because I think we gave up uh, three or four turnovers. We gave up the kickoff. We had a, a, a fumble. Uh, a couple other things happened in the first half. And so, yeah, we can't make it seem like TCU wasn't out there handling their business. Like, TCU, this reminded me of the game against Michigan last year where they beat Michigan. They just will not stop coming at you, bro. They just, every time you, you make a big play and you think you got the momentum, they kill it. They come right back and kill it, and they was they was doing that in this game. Like, every time you be like, oh, oh, we score, we're, you're battling they come right back and punch you in your stomach. You know what I'm saying? For real? Shador Sanders from my HBCU? Absolutely. The one that played at Jackson last year? The one, Jackson, last the one that you asked me, why would I give him the starting job? But like that, that, No, not you. I got receipts. I know who they are. Not you, baby. I just got to say it. I would never do that. And so that was Dion you know, taking a shot back at the people who said that his son didn't deserve that spot. You know what I'm saying? They disrespected a few times in questions, you know, questioning his ability to gauge if his son was deserving of the starting position or not. Even though you've seen him uh, perform immensely well at Jackson State, it's the bump up in talent. People were still doubting, you know, Sanders, Coach Prime's ability to see what he sees. Uh, your other son, Travis Hunter. Yes. Can, can he? I try to tell you, but you ain't want to believe me because I'm just a, you know, I'm just a lofty old young coach. I don't know nothing about football. You know, I just played in the NFL for 14, played at a high level in college for four, you know, and been coaching youth all the way up for a long time. Why, how do you think we got Dylan Edwards? I coached him when he was four to seven years old. That's why we got Dylan Edwards. So uh, Travis is is him. Like the young folks say, Travis is it. I, I really think, uh, you know, I always promote all my kids. I really think we got a couple guys that uh, should be front runners for the Heisman right now. I really, that's how I feel. And I want to promote my kids at all costs. But we got a couple of them that, who did that? And who did what they did today? I saw the reporter was asking, can Travis Hunter keep up such a high level playing both ways? You know what I'm saying? And, and they are like, can he? I, I've been telling y'all that he that he is him. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I'm, I'm going to tell you, he looked like it in this game. And he had a dropped uh, bomb that should have been a touchdown as well. Like, if he would have pulled that one in, you know what I'm saying? But Travis was 11. Uh, 11 catches for 119, he had three tackles, one pass breakup, and one interception. And if you'd have seen the interception, it was so crucial. Uh, they was right on the goal line. It was a great pass. And he just took off and dove. He catches it. And, of course, when you dive and catch it, you have to worry about if, if the ball is going to come loose before you hit the ground. 
in knowing that, he catches it and he turns midair to make sure that the ball does not come in contact with the ground or he doesn't lose it. I'm just like, man, that that was a that was a special catch right there. And then not only that, it, it was like quite a few of his catches was nice on on the on the on the um, receiving tip. The, 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 the dude, the code, man, between him and, and um, uh, Shador Sanders, that, I believe they definitely, right now, now, we, of course, we got the rest of the season to go, but right now, they should definitely be on the radar as far as Heisman contention. And it just depends on how they look going forward. I like how Dylan Edwards was looking too, man. Dylan, Dylan Edwards, now, um, running the ball, he was only six, six uh, for 24 which is four yards of carry, but he had five receptions for 135 yards, three TDs. You know what I'm saying? Now, he did fumble once, but the dude is small, but he is explosive. Coach Brown said he got this, like, shallow hell complex where he's so little, but when he look in the mirror, he see, like, a <laughs> a, a huge 225-pound, like, diesel. Like, that's what he see. That's how he play. But it, I, I'm telling he. He quick, man. He quick, explosive. Like he, 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 he reminds me of Blake Corum from Michigan. Small back, but really fast. And you know, when you see him, it's like you you don't expect him to get loose, but he gets loose. That last touchdown where they went, where they they went up. It it was it was it was a, it was dumb. They was coming coming at Shador, and I think Shador was kind of rolling this way. They was coming at him, and so he like, oh, let me hurry up and get rid of it. Dumped it off, and he just took off. He just hit the sideline, and it, that that last, uh, I guess that was linebacker was, was trailing him. He was too quick. He had no chance. And then it was one more, I think, a safety that was trying to catch him going upside. Couldn't catch him. He he, he explosive. So it, it, it just, I don't know, man. They look good, but but I want I want to say this too though. Colorado ain't won the national championship. So even though this feels like that big of, you know, some, some a win of that gravity coming from a program that was that terrible, one in 11 last year, and a whole hype about can Coach Prime turn around, this, that, and another, this feel like a very vindicating win. But just like Coach Prime has started off, I didn't play all of the clips, but he was picking apart all the things that went wrong. Special teams, they gave up a lot of stuff on special teams. They had a block. Uh, they had, all, uh, I believe, a couple plays that was almost took back to the house on special teams. Um, the defense, of course, they gave up 42 points, so they wasn't uh, like they were supposed to be, you know. You you, you got to have some defense to, to, to win these big kind of, kind of games. But um, they held when you needed them. They was getting, they was getting pushed. I mean, it, it's TCU, it's TCU, and and while they, I, I thought they should have been high, uh, ranked a little higher than seventeenth. It's because they lost, you know, players in the draft and all that, this, that, and the other. But they were still ranked seventeen, and and they still are powerful, powerful offense. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta take that to, into account. When offenses are are that good, they they gon they gonna score on you. You know what I'm saying? But in, in the last, in the fourth quarter, in the last four minutes. After um, Colorado went up, they they held, they held on 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 some big plays. Met, dude made a solo tackle right there. I can't think of his name, but he made a solo tackle right on the um, you know, uh, to keep him from getting that first that first down. It was just a lot of big plays that the players was making on Colorado. That that's showing showing something. The, one of the starters, I think this guy was the last starter from. The only remaining starter from last year, he made a, a early uh, interception right on the goal line, right on the goal line when they were, you know, early in the game when they was about to score. That was a big play. Like, but like I say, it's a whole season, and we can't act like Colorado just won the national championship. We've got to keep that in mind to still keep that dog, that underdog spirit. Even if you're not the underdog, you got to keep that fight. And you and keep that. Oh, we about to show them. You know what I'm saying? We about to show them something. Like, cause they they obviously have the talent. We we know they have the talent, and they showed it 
today. We knew they had talent before this. But like Shannon Sharp was saying, it's it's about them big dogs up front and and then, you know, on the, on the offensive line and on the defensive line. Those guys, they was like you you win championships with those guys that start up front. And up front looked Looked, uh, they was handling their business. They was handling their business. The run game wasn't as, as, as good as, as, as it should have been, but I'm just going to say they was handling their business enough to keep uh, Shadur Sanders pass protected at the very least and to give the receivers enough time to operate and do what they got to do. So the sky's the limit from here, but got to keep, got to keep winning. Got to keep winning. Got to keep winning. Got to keep playing hard with whatever you got to do. We just set a precedence now, and, and people know that Colorado and Coach Prime is here, and Travis Hunter and Shadur Sanders, and I just want these young men to keep go pro keep proving themselves to be what they know. Like Travis Hunter already said he is, he he uh, placed himself at the number number one before the season started, number one for Heisman contention. But people, you know, thought he was off for saying that. But look at him, look at him. You understand what I'm saying? And Shador, hey, the, the proof, these, it, the, the, a lot of the game wasn't just no dump offs and people get, it was, it was some dump offs where people broke free and this, that, that, but he had a lot of bombs over the middle, down the sideline, you know, chunk yardage plays where he was looking good. So, uh, we're going to see where Colorado goes from here, baby, but, um, it looked like it's going up to me in the, in the first year. They are going to be competing. So this is your boy P. Cam. Let me know what you think, what you don't think. Get at your boy.